Hi everybody. I hope you learned a bit from my videos on the Seidel Tab Tool. And now I'm about to reveal a secret function of the Seidel Tab Tool, which was never meant to be published. Um, when I wrote the Seidel Tab Tool, I didn't want to have too many functions for formatting and everything, so I made no button for changing the fonts. However, Mark Perintum from Harpin and Ovinin, um made a good point when he told me um, that tabs should be uh, that fonts should be interchangeable. Changing the fonts in the tab tool is useful if you need larger letters. For example, when I'm making these videos, uh, I'm always having the fonts in bold bold size, so they appear better on the video. And um, changing font is useful if you need monospaced fonts. A monospaced font is often used, for example by Mark Perintum on his great website harpinandawinin.com to bring the tabs and the text together in format how they stand above each other. When you copy this kind of text and transfer to this idle tab tool, which has by standard a proportional font, this just doesn't work anymore. Let's have a look at Harpin and Awinin. This is Harpin and Awinin Amazing Grace and you see the notes, the um, channel and the text are aligned above each other. Now let's switch to the tab tool. Um, I've copied the same text from the home page to this tab tool and it doesn't stand on top of each other anymore because the proportional font for these numbers needs less space than for all this text. There's a lot of M's and, and a W in there which just takes space. So in order to get this order back we need to change the tab tool to a monospaced font. Now back when I programmed the Seidel tab tool, which you hopefully have on your hard disk, I already integrated a function for changing the fonts, but I didn't have much time to test it and to try it out, so I put it in the very much in hidden way. Now the secret way to find it is that you enter something in this lower window. You remember you are usually making all your input in the uh, upper window, but this time we take the lower window and we enter an at font chooser at at font chooser at and now we are doing as if we were trying to transform this for the tab font for the XB40. Now if you activate or whenever you activate this menu point and there's the secret line at hub uh, at font chooser at in the lower window, it will open a dialog for changing the fonts. Now you can see I've got a lot of fonts here on my computer, uh, like for example the Linux Biolinum, Biolinum which I like a lot, or Linux Libertin. Um, but I can change this to Courier New, which is probably the most known um, monospaced font and it is available on every uh, Windows computer. You can also change standard italics bold and you can change the size. You even have some preview here um, on how the letters will look. Okay, if I activate Korean New and go on to OK, you see both windows are switched to the Korean New font and the alignment here fits just like originally on Mark Perintum's website. My first idea was to put a menu button in the Seidel tab tool in the next release, but since we since we published the version 1.01, .01, I think it was in, in February, there's been no single bug report, so there's no need for a new version and I can as well show you the secret way, the hidden way to get to the 
menu. So you enter font chooser in ads here. You go to file transform for tab font and the XP40 tab. And you can do can do a lot of um, amazing things here. Like you could take the uh, liberation monospaced font of which I don't know if it yeah, how many people of you will have that? But the Korean new font everybody will have. So the hidden function goes like this: enter this secret line, try to transform to the XP40 font, and that's it. I hope you enjoyed that, and I ha hope you can have a lot of of use from uh, take a lot of benefit from this piece of software. Thanks and bye bye.